the old power stroke. Yeah, we got a truckload of parts, boys. Boys and girls, we got a truckload of parts, so we're gonna drive them on back here, get them unloaded, and get on with the video. truck still sitting here still procrastinating it well kind of kind of not I mean I just got a lot of other stuff I'm, I'm already working on I got parts stacking up we got a lift done on this truck which we'll get into detail with that a little bit later I just want to go and shine the truck up first so you can actually see the clean parts because it's just filthy right now so it's kind of it's kind of dirty ain't it you know baby it's kind of dirty so um, but yeah this truck it's just it's just been on a hold guys I, I do apologize because I was planning on knocking out this whole truck and like Two or three weeks and um, I'm just not the guy that just freaking just can't wait to get in the engine bay of a truck and try to fit parts that some of them aren't even supposed to be there you know a lot of them are it's just not my thing I'm just it's, I'm just not that guy and I can completely own up to that but we do have some parts that have rolled in for the 6-7 Cummins um, the 2018 mega cab uh, a few different things a different exhaust tip we got we got tail lights and air intake stuff and intake manifold stuff we got wheels we got tires right there I mean a whole bunch of stuff so this truck's gonna look really good it's gonna look really good once done. I just can't wait to get all the parts on it also can't wait to get that truck done I'm honestly thinking about having somebody come over and just finish that for me because I'd rather pay somebody to get it done and then just have it done than me keep on starting and continuing on different projects and it's just never getting done you know what I mean so it's it's just one of those it's just one of those deals but anyway so we're not we're not here to get into those parts really much maybe maybe the wheels but I don't know um, mostly this truck and you know what all exactly we, we did to it and then on this truck over here um, like I said our current offer on the truck is I think actually now we have somebody willing to pay three grand for it but before that I'm actually thinking about in the next day or two um, getting this truck started up again so somehow prying that hood open and then throwing a different set of wheels and tires on it not like anything fancy just like a different set that'll bolt, bolt onto it so that the truck will actually be able to roll around but i want to see you know maybe even rip the bed off but at least for now get it on a different set of wheels and tires and i want to see if this thing will actually still start up shift into gear drive and if the steering still works and try to figure out just how clunky it is and see what all really in terms of the drivetrain and stuff like what all is really you know that bad in terms of the actual drivability and the mechanics of the truck because it looks worse now that i'm thinking about it like i was just explaining to my fiance reagan um that the way it, the reason it looks so bad is because the rear passenger side and then the front driver side tire they are off the rim but the opposite likewise are on so the truck kind of looks like it sits funny like really weird and awkward looking but I don't know if it's because the trucks really all that twisted up or if it's just sitting funny because of how uneven everything is so I don't know I'm just gonna mess with it make a video about you know dorking around with it and getting it to you know to test all that stuff on it but hey it might actually be pretty cool and it might actually be able to roll around and start up and you know not safely but uh, actually be able to drive a little bit for you know whoever comes to pick it up it went from being a black truck in the front to a completely white truck in the rear and so it needs to be polished up really really bad so we're gonna go do that we got a lot of stuff coming to the truck so thank you guys so much for tuning in also keep in mind that the OBS 73 f 350 four-door long bed giveaway ends in 12 days by the time you see this video there are only 12 days left and it is rapidly ending so go to the website, every $15 you spend on LMP gear automatically gets you another entry to win the truck. 11.59 p.m., 
February 5th, the giveaway ends. And yeah, you just go buy t-shirts, hoodies, hats, or just a couple items. But every $15 more you spend gets you another entry. other property the other the big barn with my dad's living quarters project with my proposal area for my beautiful fiance Reagan she's a sweetheart mm -hmm. and then uh, we got smalls in here yeah yeah looking good by the way this is the truck you guys could be winning within like the next two weeks actually less than two weeks you could be the announced the winner of this truck possibly so um, definitely enter if you want to have your shot these giveaways that I do are legal, they're bonded, they're registered with the states. Um, so winners are protected, buyers are protected, people who participate. I mean, these are legit, these are real, the real deal. Um, she's over there snacking <laughs> on proposal chocolates. But uh, yeah, so I mean guys, beautiful, beautiful truck, rust free, pickup truck, the F-350, the 7.3, just a beautiful, beautiful truck. But anyways, we're here to talk about the 6.7 right now. Um, and what we just got done to this truck. So I took the truck to a guy by the name of Devin who used to work for a truck shop around here. Uh, we're gonna leave nameless. It was a truck shop that I used to take my trucks to and it got to a point where they basically fired all the guys that knew what they were doing and they hired up a bunch of newbies and the service just sucks. Like it literally just like dirt crap junk service. And so they wanna charge you double for everything prices are through the roof the hourly quotes are just completely out of whack just to try to you know take advantage of people who aren't afraid to spend a little bit of money on their truck but don't realize that it doesn't actually take that long to do um, then it just makes them look good on their bottom end so it's kind of like it, it just kind of sucks but anyways he got the truck done in like five hours and he did a six and a half inch zone lift kit on this truck he said that that's what they use he's done um, a lot of trucks like he has done a pile of trucks a zone is a sister brand to BDS for those of you who don't know um, And he redid the steering alignment the steering wheel alignment and stuff so that you know It's not out of whack with the lift kit that was put on New stuff there if it'll focus Kind of kind of hard to see it's pretty dark I did just completely wash this truck and as soon as we turned onto our road here it got caked in salt and snow and everything all over again which you know how that goes winter time you gotta love it but yeah just uh just a sweet sweet setup and i might upgrade it and switch out some of the parts like the shocks and stuff and maybe upgrade them a little bit um, but for now it's going to serve the purpose that i want it to it does look really good and it actually doesn't look that bad the way that it's set up now the lighting's kind of iffy because you got like the lighting in there then you got natural lighting mixing kind of weird but um, it doesn't even look that bad with the 20 by 10s because it actually sits actually still pokes out a little bit from the fenders um, obviously it just needs to be bigger tires so what we're gonna do though is we have the 22 by 14 anthems and the 375 45 r22 nittos 
at the house and that's what we're going to be putting on this truck you'll see the wheels and tires or you saw the tires but you'll see the wheels and them on the truck here probably within a few days hopefully we can get all that done we got the new wheels and tires for the longhorn put in the bed i'm gonna drop them off at the shop right around the corner right now and uh they should have them ready sometime tomorrow if they can do these i don't i've never taken them a set of 22s or 14 wides or tires as big for them to mount and balance so we will see we'll see how that goes hopefully hopefully all goes well um but yeah it's going to look one more look around this truck before you see it with the with the new setup on it and just a handful of videos here remember we're going 14 wide wheels and just shy of 15 wide tires next it's gonna give it that good just wide beefy look without it being ridiculously high although it's already pretty high now but definitely not anywhere near like OBS status like that 97 F350 that truck's just a just a monster it's so much fun to drive though just kind of an update on what's happening with the Longhorn. Like I said, six and a half inch lift just got done. New wheels and tires are getting dropped off right now to be mounted and balanced. Also, we've got a bunch of new parts in the, um, we got a few new parts in the barn for this truck that are gonna be getting bolted on very soon. And then also, we've got a couple small things coming for the OBS, the 1997 F350 and then just just some more stuff in general and then eventually here another truck so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned because the 1997 f350 giveaway ends in less than two weeks okay so there are 12 more days left to enter and remember if you live anywhere in the usa 50 states i will pay to ship the truck to you no matter where you're at or if you want to come hang out for a day I will pay for your ticket to fly out and come get it and pick it up. I will pay for your travel in terms of fuel or stay to come up and drive up and get it and drive it back, you know, whatever it costs. I will pay to take care of you guys to make sure you get your truck back. Um, then also keep in mind that you're not gonna get some kind of notification. I, a lot of people are like, oh, when you go on the website and you make a purchase, it doesn't tell me how many entries I got. The website's not set up like that. It doesn't tell you how many entries you get. It's just automatically entered in. So let's say you spend 15 bucks. It doesn't say you got one entry, but you still got one entry. Uh, you spent 30, you got two entries, it didn't say it, but you did get two entries, so on and so forth. You spent 45, you're gonna get three entries, even though it doesn't pop up. Yes, you get your entry. Our website's never been set up like that, but yes, you still get all the entries that you buy. Everything's counted in, everything's accounted for, and uh, nobody's left out. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to enter the giveaway information in the description below. 12 days left. Also keep in mind, this truck's gonna look completely different in just a couple days. Leave a fat thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.